So currently injured, we've got Jeffrey Sarpong, Roy Krishna, Alex Rufa, Louis Fenton, and Ben Signe has just pulled up again with his hamstring. And uh, suspended Manny Musket, Alex Rodriguez, and Roly Bonavazia. So boys and girls, bring your boots to the game this weekend. <laughs> Do you have the depth in the squad you need to cover up uh, such a such a big list? I think so. I think so. I think we've got some youngsters that we've been bringing through. We've got Albert, Albert back for the midfield. And um, yeah, no, I think we've got Justin Gullies getting fitter now. I'm just looking around as we speak. Um, no, I think we've got the numbers to to really compete well this weekend. Central, central defence is, is an issue without Manny, without Ben now by the sounds of it. Dylan Fox is running out there, hasn't played an A-League game. Is he an option to start against Brisbane? He's definitely an option. He's been training really well. He's been playing well in the ASB competition. He's quick, he's technically good, he's got good vision, and he's a tough defender. So he's definitely an option for us. And in midfield, uh, without Rolly and Alex, um, you've obviously got Vinny and, and Albert back. But yeah, we'd, all, the... we'd obviously go with two holding midfielders mm -hmm. and, uh, and um, an attacking midfielder in, of the likes of... Uh, either Joe Stevens or uh, maybe even one of the younger ones, uh, McGarry, etc. So I think we've got options up there and up front. We've still got uh, McGlinchey, we've got Lake Powell, Quabina, Logan Rogerson's looking really good. So yeah, I think we've got a good squad out this weekend. So looking to go to the academy potentially to fill in the gaps? Yeah, the reserve team squad um, who have been playing ASB and that's what they're there for. And you know what it's like, you give someone an opportunity and all of a sudden you find a very, very good player. This thing, what can you do as a, co as a coach, I guess, with limited numbers to maybe get these younger guys up to that level? Well, Andy Hedge has been doing a great job with them in the SB competition. Uh, Chris Greenacre has been working with the strikers in particular. And uh, these five or six of these boys have trained with us all this year and most of last year. So. It's getting, it's really it's about experience and the confidence to play the way at training. As you've seen here, they play really well at training under a bit of pressure. Some of them don't perform quite so well. They're a bit worried about what's going to go wrong and making mistakes, which I've tried to get them to forget about and just it's a lesson learned. So it's about competing very intensely in training, especially in that front third and transferring that to the match day. I guess it's not an ideal situation coming off two losses, wanting to play you know, a top team like Brisbane with these numbers, I guess. No, it never quite works out. Look, this is halfway through the season. We've got a great medical team. We've got a great fitness team. They'll be working hard to get everyone back to full fitness. But this is what happens when you get suspensions as well. And the combination of both really can deplete any team. But that's why you've got a secondary group of players ready to come in. Um, the trouble is you don't want to play too many inexperienced players in when you're playing the top of the league team. But uh, i got a good feeling about this team. Two game um, suspension from Musket, do you think that's a fair penalty? I'm really disappointed about the whole affair, but I've said what I have to say last week. You all, I qu you all quoted me, I think, and uh, now we move forward. I won't persist with it anymore. Three players suspended this week, but three more, one yellow card away. Are you disappointed by your team's disciplinary record? No, I think our disciplinary record uh, has been pretty good. I mean, we did wear the, win the Fair Play Award last year, and I did tell them I don't want to ever win that again. So they're, they're trying to make sure we don't win it again. I think we've been pretty harshly done by, um, but there's no point in worrying about that. I can't control that. Manny gets, uh, Manny gets two weeks. What do you expect Roy O'Donovan to get today? I get no idea. I'll leave that to the, the, the disciplinary commission that make that decision. Do you get guys like Durante and Leah who are on four yellow cards to alter their game at all, knowing that a yellow card could be quite detrimental to the team? No, I, I don't want them to change their game. I'd like the referees to change a wee bit more than the players to change. I mean, Manny got a yellow card for for making a great tackle in defence. It was a penalty kick given against them and a yellow card, so you don't want them to make those tackles anymore, so you don't change it. And uh, our captain uh, was given a yellow card for querying a decision on a headbutt and trying to defend these players, so I don't want the players to change at all. But it's pretty clear the refs won't change, so do you have to have words Well, I players? don't know about that. I think the referees are uh, growing and learning also.
Just talking about the whole the situation, you see, I've been very disappointed by it all. Have you taken anything further? Has the club taken any, any further steps to address it? No. I, our general manager has made the director of referees aware of our situation regarding the number of fouls committed compared with the yellow cards where we're ahead of everyone else. And that's all we can do. We can let Ben Wilson know what our situation is and uh, that we're aggrieved by it. As a coach, I just move forward and, and prepare the team for the next match. I know you've been offered the chance to have a full-time referee come and spend the day with the players and you. Are you going to take that up? Uh, when was that offered? Well, that's what the FFA told me they've offered you. Oh, did they really? One of the three full-time referees would come here and spend the day with, with the players. <laughs> what is that supposed to do? Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't even want that. I don't know about that, so I won't answer that question. Are you still sending video clips to them? No, I'm not. Yeah. I've given up on that. I've given up. That didn't work either. <laughs> we can't laugh about it. <laughs> it's pretty sad, though, the situation. I mean, I'm not, I am not. I don't think we're the only club complaining about the standard refereeing. And really, all questions about refereeing should really go to Ben Wilson. He's responsible for the development. Back to injuries, Krishna, how, how bad is he? Four weeks minimum because uh, he has to see a surgeon. They, I think they may not operate, but uh, he has to go on a special cast and he'll be out of action for a while, plus he's got an ankle injury. Um, so we, I, I've been told four weeks for Roy. Sigmund looked pretty disappointed to come out of training. Is that looking pretty bad? Yes, it does. Um, he's been, we've been taking him along, bringing him along very slowly and very uh, progressively, but without overdoing it. But as soon as he went into a game, it pulled again. He looks like he's going to be a long-term injury, and uh, I feel for bad. Is that? I mean, you don't want to tempt fate now, but is that potentially we've seen Ben's last game for the Phoenix? I don't think so. No, I think he'll play before the end of the season. He told me he's got to play two more games to get his bonus, so I've got to deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the, board, not. the board would like to know that. No, no Ben's a hundred percent. he'll come back. Uh, we've got uh, another half a season to go through, so another 14 games, he'll be back.